I always had an excuse. I was always like, you know, this, I'm busy this weekend or I have to travel or, you know, the kids have this or that. And I always found an excuse and I'm like still finding myself coming here every Sunday. But I felt like there was just like this, like I was, I wasn't committed like I could and should be. And um, commitment's important to me. And I feel like I didn't want to be half in. I want to be all in. Last year I was, I was here listening to a, a message from Pastor Bruce on baptism. And I really had that, um, that tug on my heart at that moment in time. But for whatever reason, you know, just kind of sitting there in that chair, there was just this, this overarching fear. I wanted my baptism to be perfect. I'm a perfectionist by nature, and I had this image in my mind of having all of my friends and family there, everybody that's helped me on this journey, having them be there, planning when it was gonna be, making sure I was wearing waterproof mascara so I wouldn't have tears all down my face. And I just, I wanted my baptism to be perfect. I actually had thought about waiting just cause I didn't think my family would be okay with it, but I decided I'd rather be accurate in my faith than accepted. I was like, this is the next step in my faith. This is how I take that step forward. I was just really eager. It was something that I knew needed to be done and something that I just I just knew it was right. Cuando me dieron la oportunidad de bautizarme, sabía yo que lo tenía que hacer inmediatamente. And I just couldn't wait any longer. So something was just pulling me. Hey, you need you need to to nail this down. You know, you're, you're a Christian. You've you've taken that step, and it just seemed like a natural next step to take for me. I think the reason it was so important I did it right then is I had been thinking about it for a while, and if I tried to plan it, it was never going to happen. I feel like going into like a public area shows people that I made my decision and. I'm like ready for it. Coming up out of the water is just, it's a speechless feeling. It's, um, it's just great. If you're really living for Christ and yourself, then I, there shouldn't be anything you should hold back. I just, I cried and cried and cried. So many happy tears. This church of people is is here to support you. Nunca habrá un momento perfecto. Siempre va a haber algo que te detendrá. To publicly confess your love for Jesus is one of the most amazing things I've ever done. You know, I feel like pulling the trigger and going for it is the way to um, outwardly become a part of this community. I wouldn't tell anybody to wait. I mean, if you feel it in your heart and you know that you're saved, then I say go for it. I think if you are on the fence of, you know, getting up, then you most definitely should do it. Just forget about all the other people who are around you, all the people who are not, and just, you know, do, do what you need to do.